Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back and today I would love to connect with all of you and share what have inspired me recently. As you might have seen from my IG stories, I am currently in love with this new film series produced by SK2. It's called The S Series, where it features six different Olympic athletes on how they battle with societal pressure. I think these stories are very, very relatable to us women and especially to me personally. I think each series are very inspiring because they show how each of these Olympic athletes battle with pressures, battles with society standards, and decided to choose their own destiny. From these six amazing films, there are three series that are very close to my heart and I think resonates with my personal life. One of them is called The S Rules, which features Mahina Maeda. So Mahina Maeda is a professional surfer for Japan. And in this film, we can see that she's torn between expectations for how she should behave. And I think her journey is very inspiring because she chose to make her own rules instead of following the one that is given to her. In this film, we can see that she is told she has to follow different standards in order to be called a beauty. I think Mahina Maeda is so cool. In her life, she is told a lot of different standards that she feels, this is not me. And at the end of the film, she chose to be who she is. She chose to be true to herself. And I really love the scene where she just breaks the waves. She is really happy to be where she is. She is happy with what she's doing, chasing her dream, chasing her passion. And I really love the part where she asks, should others make the rules of beauty or should we make our own? And I think it really resonates with my personal life because growing up, I was always told that as a girl or as a woman, we have to agree on everything. It is impolite for me to say out my opinion but i think throughout this journey of life i discovered that that is not true because i'm someone who is very honest and very real especially to my friends and people that are close to me and for the longest time i suppressed myself because i was told not to act like that but mahina reminded me that it's okay to be different every woman is beautiful in their own way and as long as you love what you're doing as long as you stay true to yourself it is also called a beauty so i think this film series called vs rules is very very beautiful so the second series that i love is called vs machine which features ayaka takahashi and misaki matsutomo so they are both badminton duo from japan and in this film, we can see that they train so hard, they work so hard, just like a machine, just in order to be perfect. So let's watch it together. <laughs> Wow, I think this part really hits me hard. I think I can relate as someone who is very career-minded. I often forget what's important and I suppress a lot of emotions. I focus more on achieving my goals and the steps on how to get there. I have to perfect my public speaking. I have to perfect my engagement. I have to perfect my social media. I have to do this. I have to do that but i don't realize that actually i am being a machine and not a human i lost that connection with people i lost the purpose of why i'm doing this and at the end of the film we can see that ayaka and misaki broke down and they realized that they've been holding on into the wrong things so it's not always being perfect all the time training all the time like a machine but actually what's more important or what's more precious to them is the human connection that they share during competition the friendship that they built during that journey i think that is very very beautiful i think what's beautiful in my career is that i'm able to meet a lot of different people i am able to have a lot of deep friendships and i'm able to connect with a lot of my followers and share about my personal story i think 
that is the main reason why I love what I'm doing and sometimes I can get distracted by okay I want to achieve these goals the third series that I love so so much is called The Astrals which features Simon Biles she is a professional American gymnast and I think this is my number one favorite series because I can resonate so much with what Simon is going through and she battles a lot with her self-image and she battles on how people see her and how she put that self-worth in other people's opinion and I think the animation of this series is super duper cute I've seen the behind the scenes from the SK2 city oh, the trolls are actually super cute but they're evil <laughs> So we can see that she's just doing her own thing but a lot of negative comments comes her way you're so short you're not sexy or cute you're so not cheerleader material i think this is so relatable with social media nowadays as well as we are exposed to a lot of negative comments about ourselves But at the end of the movie, we can see that she chose to focus on her strength. She chose to focus on her achievements and her positive attributes. And she's able to fight the biggest troll in her life. Wow. I love how Simon Biles is such a girl boss. I look up on some articles about her and I find a lot of interesting articles. Simon Biles claps back at troll. Talk to me when you earn 5 Olympic medals. Oh, savage. Belt isn't faced by body shaming bullies. I'm comfortable in my own skin. Wow. I can totally relate because I went through what she went through. In school, growing up, I got bullied a lot because of how I look. They said that I'm not attractive. They said that I'm not sexy. They said that I'm too flat to be a woman. And I think that leaves a big scar inside of me and I became very insecure about my looks and I feel like I'm not good enough I don't look like the ideal women per se now that I work in the fashion industry for almost nine years I receive a lot of negative comments about my looks as well so I think throughout my life unconsciously I put my self-worth in other people and I put my self-value in other people's opinion because that's what I hear every day I think living in this era where social media seems like everything really taught us that our worth is based on how many likes we get or what comments people gave us and I realized it is also easier for us to degrade other women in social media so I think through this film, I'm being reminded that we have to be careful on where we put our self-worth and also to support other women through social media, not by leaving hate comments or insensitive comments. We are much more than what these trolls are telling us, so if you're dealing with this, if you're battling with this, I just want to remind you that everyone is beautiful in their own way and don't listen to negative comments but focus on your positive attributes and strengths. And just to embrace our inner strength and battle with those negative comments. And what's even more special about VS Trolls is the soundtrack of this film. It is actually performed by John Legend, which is one of my favorite singers. So thank you so much guys for watching this amazing films with me. I think I am being reminded on what the true definition and the true meaning of destiny is and how I can choose my own version of destiny each and every day. And I believe all of us here women will need a constant reminder to keep going. So I highly recommend you guys to watch all the full series and let me know which one resonates with you the most. So you can watch this film series through SK2 CD, which I'm gonna put the link down below so you can click it. So in this virtual world, which is inspired by Shibuya Crossing, oh my god, it makes me miss Japan so much by looking at this. You can access different buildings and the first one is cinema. 
So in the cinema building, you can watch all of the six series from six different Olympic athletes. I highly recommend you guys to watch all of them because, oh my god, their stories are just amazing. Across the road, you can access the backstage tour, which I think super duper cool because you can see all of their behind the scenes, the process of making the animation, the process of making the soundtrack, writing the lyrics, and also see sketches of their animations, how they choose the design and everything. And I think the process of making this series are just amazing. And by watching the series, you are contributing one US dollars per view in support of women pursuing their destiny. How cool is that? See you guys on the next video.